right, hello children, it's Pastor Matthew here for our children's praise. And we're working through that catechism, those short little questions that we do each week here on Sunday at New Life. Uh, the question we're going to look at today is question number nine. So we've made it all the way to nine, and question number nine asks us this. So I want you to think about this today. What is creation? That's the question. What is creation? And the answer is, creation is God's making everything out of nothing by the power of His Word in six days, and all very good. That's the answer. So creation is God making everything you can see from nothing in the span of six days, and He did this all, and it was very good. Do you see that answer at the bottom of your screen? Uh, the part in there, it says it's really important, is that he made everything uh, by the power of his word. So there's a way that God makes um, that's different than us. He makes by speaking, uh, whatever that might mean for God. He speaks and things happen. Uh, so maybe you'll remember that one word you might have learned for the first time uh, because of our previous catechism questions, which is the word decree. Pre is God's uh, will, what he wants to get done in the world when he makes everything. Why do he make it? Well, one of the ways we understand a decree is it's a powerful word that a king says. So God decreed um, the creation to be made by speaking it into existence. And then we know that when he made everything, there wasn't anything before that. Nothing else existed. So God made everything out of nothing. So now, you're going to see this image. We've seen it many times before. It's still very helpful to look at. Remember, there's God. And there's nothing else. God is all that is. But because he wanted to, not because he had to, but because he wanted to, he decided to make everything. And make everything in this whole bottom circle is what we say is creation. And inside that circle, we have another circle that's called you and me. But what we're told here, again, is that God made everything out of nothing by his powerful word. And it says, in six days, and he made it all very, very good. So I want to read to you the Bible verse today from the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis 1. This is where we're told how God made everything. It says, On the first day He made the light and the darkness. And then on the second day, He made the big, big, big expanse that you see above your head when you look up in the sky, called the sky or heaven. And then He put all this water down below. And then... On the third day, he separated the water down below into one spot. And he made all this other dry land emerge. And he called the one sea, and the other one he called dry land. And then we're told on the fourth day that he decided to make all the stars and the sun and the moon. And he put them up in that big, big expanse called heaven or the sky. And then Toward the end of the week, this creation week, right, we have day five in which God decided to fill in everything he made by creating all the birds that fly in the sky and all the fish that swim in the water and all the water animals. And then on the sixth and the final day of creation, God made all the animals that he made on that earth. He filled up the whole earth with animals, the land. And the last thing he ever made was man. It says this in Genesis chapter 1, 26, God said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea and the birds of the heaven and over all the livestock on the earth and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So here's the image I want you to see. I want you to understand this image from everything I just said, which is a picture of those six days. So if you're able to uh, see that on the screen, 
you're going to see on the very first day what I said, God first made light and darkness. Now, after that, he made the expanse. So you see up here the big sky and down here the ocean or the sea. And he separated them and he called that heaven. But then on the third day, he brought all sorts of water together and caused dry land to emerge. Now, what's really neat, and this is so uh, neat to see how God made things. He decided to make it this way, even though he could have made everything quickly. He made it this way, kind of the way you and I work, is that we have to do first steps, then second steps. So you'll see, actually, every day, day one, day two, day three, in some way, kind of matches with day four, day five, and day six. So God made light and darkness, but then on the fourth day, he filled up that light and darkness by making the sun for light and the stars and the moon for the dark. And then on the fifth day, where he first just made the sea and the sky by the big expanse, the heavens, and all the water below, then on the fifth day, he filled all that up. And he put all the birds in the heavens, and he put all the water creatures, the fish, down below. And then on the third day, when God made the land and separated it from all the other waters so that there was a distinct thing called dry land, what did he do on the next day that followed in that pattern? And the sixth day, he filled up the land, and he made all the living creatures. And the last thing he ever made was us, humans, man and woman. And so we'll learn about that again next time in our next question.